Salutations, Internet, and welcome back to Dwombat Gaming. I'm Dwombat, and once again, I have a 1-1 win-loss ratio in an arena. Let's see if I can make it any better. Come on, Thrall. Don't let your shaman deck let me down now. Okay, I'm gonna let this music get me pumped up. Okay. Uh, a Gord Critic or a Diamond League player? I'm a Diamond League player. I'm in Tier 1 Diamond. Last time you guys saw I was in Platinum, I think, but I've been playing enough to reach Diamond, so that's nice. Get rid of these two big cards. I don't need them right now. Give me my, one of my one costs. Eh, perfect. Thank you. Shield bearer. Thank you very much, game. Flame down. You shall not pass. Zero four with taunt. He's a rather good card. Especially if you can get him on turn one. He's a great wall. Plus, with my flame tongue totem, I can give him attack. Sweet! Now he's a 2-4. A 2-4 taunt for 3 cost, that's... That's better than any card I can know, I think. Oh, looks like he's killing it. Alright, he does not like that totem. Honestly, I think that's a good play. That totem can get out of hand if you can't get rid of it. Uh, let's just summon a totem. And I'm just gonna have to end my turn. I always found it weird that there's Murlocs in the background of the Stoneclaw Totem. Alarmobot, that's not a good thing. Uh-oh. I have no way of killing that. What the Alarmobot does is, at the start of your turn, swap this minion with a random one in your hand. If he has really big minions in there, I am in deep trouble. There's no sense in attacking the Alarmobot, so I'm just gonna hit him. What's it do? Get behind me. Oh, great. That was good on his part. Oh, boy. And he's just going to play that alarm about again, probably. He's got a nice big taunt in front of it. That's what I'd do. Secret? Oh, okay. No alarm about. Probably steady shot, then? Hmm? No? Oh. Hunter's Mark and Arcane Shot. All right. Very good combo. I could Bloodlust and get rid of this creature, but I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm going to Azure Drake, get a card. Job's done. Cool. So he does not have a Snipe. He has either a Snake Trap, an Explosive Trap, or a Freezing Trap. So we'll see what happens. delicious energy drink which I guess will tell you guys that I am in fact recording this right after the last one all right is it worth it to bloodlust right now I would be able to kill his alarm robot with this well first of all let's attack snake trap okay Um, I don't think... Is it, though? No. Let's not. Let's see what happens. And play down my Unbound Element. Job's done. We'll see what he does. Pay attention, class. Okay. That's a pretty good card. Does he have any spells to make use of it? Because whenever he casts a spell, he gets a 1-1 one, one creature for free. So basically, his spell does whatever and summon a 1 1 creature. Kills my Taunt Totem. And trades? Okay. Oh, deadly shot. I am ready to oh, great. I don't have any AoE! This is bad! Alright, so what I'm finding out now is that I should have bloodlusted when I had the chance. 
Well, I can hex her. And I can summon a totem. And I guess I can just wait. It's not like he can do a ton of damage this turn. He can deal... Oh, wait, that has Wind Fury. Crap. Five, six, seven. He can deal eight damage this turn. Which is pretty powerful. But what if I get a taunt or something? <laughs> I'm grasping at straws. Oh, no! That's not good. He is going to kill my totem. Which is sensible, except I have no AoE, so it doesn't matter. I have no area of effect, big blast, just clear the board stuff. So he dealt 9 damage that turn. And he played the Alarmobot again. Which means that must be a creature in his hand, otherwise he wouldn't have played that. Uh, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to resurrect that guy when he dies. Alright. So far, so okay. I'm trying to think. How? Oh, that wasn't a creature, so his Alarmobot is just on the field doing nothing. Alright. Then he's going to kill it. It'll resurrect itself. I have my worgen once more. What's he going to kill it with this time? He's going to have to use at least this guy, which I would be okay with, or two of his other minions. Or do that. That would work. Great. But, you know, he still had to do it. So it pretty much acted like a taunt. But if I don't do something about what he has, I'm going to lose right now. I think I've lost. Give me taunt! That's not taunt. Uh, whatever. Okay. I've lost. Six. Yeah, I've, I've lost easily. Go ahead and win. I'll I'll be ready to say well played. He could be dumb. Maybe he won't kill me. Maybe he'll be so fo- No, he's gonna kill me. Oh, great. Well played. Hit me with that big longbow of you. Or not. He, he gonna, He's gonna kill me anyway. Come on. Don't waste your time. Just hit me in the face! Just hit me in the face! Do your job. That's better. So much better. All right. Well, that went poorly. I should have bloodlusted when I had the chance. Lesson learned. Don't save your cards when you know you can get an advantage if you do it now. I'm just going to go by that rule, even if I think it would be more useful later. What if that later never comes because of what you did? Life lessons. The Wombat playing Hearthstone. Enjoy what you have now. Don't wait till later. Okay, alright. Cooling down. Ready? Ready? Come on. Music. Pump me up. I'm ready. Mm hmm. Stroking my beard. I'm thinking. I almost fought a brand new player. That would have been nice. Oh, I hate mages. You guys know I hate mages. Well, that a six swamp ooze is pretty much useless. Let's get rid of the warlord. I'm going to keep my earth shock. I don't want the swamp ooze. Because he's useless. I mean, he is a 3-2, but there's got to be other stuff in my deck that would be more useful. Give me a shield bearer. Nope, that's a, that's a yeti. That is not a shield bearer. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Oh, she didn't play anything. I'm not playing the Dust Devil, that's for sure. She's going to smack it in the face with her fireball. And considering he technically costs three mana, that is a no-no. In fact, that is an almost useless card against a mage. Colbamph? We're like kindred spirits. 
My main World of Warcraft character's name is Bamf. Or rather, Bomf. There's... How do you pronounce A with an umlaut? Two dots above it, like boop boop? How do you pronounce that? Tell me in the comments. Give me a I've always just thought it was ah, but I could be wrong. Oh, coining. Oh, that was a good play. Because the coin does count as a card. But, too bad she enraged by Worgen. So, wasn't actually worth it. Let's play the Chillwind Yeti. Smack her in the face once. And then hit this guy, losing both of the cards. Well worth it, I would say. She spent three cards making him useful. Ooh, I could Earthshock him and make him mediocre. Or I could just do this. Rawr. Yeah, he's frozen, but I can save my Earthshock for a better silence. Or just for some direct damage to do something. Like him! I'll silence him! Perfecto mundo. Okay, so let's silence him. And I'd rather not lose my Yeti. So I'm going to do this and this. And then deal six damage directly to her. I'm not going to play my Dust Devil. I'd rather have the mana. Because remember, he costs two mana next turn. Cone of Cold, okay. Then Fireball my Yeti. Or fire, or fire Blast, whatever it is. Mage Hero Power. Oh, I'll mess with Tusker. What do I do? What do I do? Summon a Totem. Ooh, okay, I'm okay with that. All of my units are injured. That was a good play, as your Drake. I didn't even realize that would be good for me, but it is. Wah. Now it's much harder to kill those things. Or at least it takes another spell. Killing my healing totem, and killing the yeti, I would assume. Right? And the dwarf? Yeah, there you go. That is the proper thing to do. All right, since he is frozen, he can't do anything this turn. I think now I will use the fire elemental. Get rid of that. And considering I have so much mana, should I use the dust devil? Yeah, I really, I'd rather just summon a totem, honestly. If it was anything but a mage, then I would summon the dust devil, but she just has too much easy one damage removal. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Nope. Polymorph. Frostbolt. Okay. Alright. Well. Well done. However, do I win? I might win. Bloodlust. I win. Give him Wind Fury. And then play Bloodlust. Five. Ten. 14. Well played. Woo! I did it! I beat the mage! To be fair, that mage wasn't doing as well as all of the other mages, but... Yeah, you know. Alright, let's play one more. I know that it's nice to end on a happy note, but I want to end on a above an equal kill-death ratio note. ba da 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 ba da Come on, give me an opponent. Uh, Gum Pusher, Mopey Mage, Damp Druid. I wouldn't mind facing a StarCraft Pro. Okay. Galbatorix. The elements will destroy you. You're in for a world of pain, Galbatorix. 
Yeah, I like that. That's good. Probably just going to play the Novice Engineer on turn one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, or a Fairy Dragon. Eh. Let's do the Engineer first to give myself more options next turn. Not that, though. That's not the option I wanted. But if you think about it, I would have drawn him and been even more disappointed with less cards. Searing Totem. Fairy Dragon. Take care of the Totem. And that's a... I'm looking better than him at the moment. We have technically the same number of cards, because I'll draw one on my next turn, and I have two units. Harvest Golem. Good card. Very good card, actually. I think I play Torin Warrior. Kill the Harvest Golem. Leave the damaged thing it, uh, it summons to hit my taunt and smack him in the face for one. Booyah, Galbatorix. Galbortorix. Galbator X. Oh, silence is it. Okay. Does he still kill it? Or rather run his face into it? Oh. No, just go straight for me. Alright. Lightning Bolt. Ancestral Spirit. What's Ancestral Spirit, this guy? Because I think when he dies, he'll come back fresh and new. I might be wrong. I'm curious, actually. It's an experiment. Some healing up that was not necessary. Next turn. What do I do next turn? Hopefully he'll play something I can silence. I'd like to Earthshock. Or, even better, he'll play a weapon. Like the Doom Hammer or the Stormforged Axe, whichever. Hmm. What to do? Come on, hurry up, Galbatorix. Smart, that's what I would have done. Hex! Oh, poop. That upsets me, because it got rid of the spell I placed on him as well. Well, I can Flame Tongue it. I can also Earthshock. What's Flame Tongue? Earthshock. And play a Swamp Ooze. I'm gonna assume he doesn't have many weapons, or that they're not worth it, or something. I just need more minions out on the field. Especially if they're gonna be buffed by that Flame Tongue, then it's worth it. The reason I left the frog alive is that it has Taunt. Perfect. What you doing now? Sunwalker. Ooh. Well, I have a lightning bolt. Although I also have a shield bearer. What's lightning bolt? Summon a totem. Kill that. Put my shield bearer on the other side. Call it a turn. A 2-4 and a 2-2 with taunt. It's looking good. It's pretty good. Azure Drake. Not liking that card. Does he play a spell card? Like lightning, dual lightning or something. Forked lightning? Is that what it's called? Or Ancestral Spirited. That's a good play. Me no likey. Let's use the Argent Commander to... Hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that. Okay. We'll see what he does. Does he have any board clear that's amazing? 
Lightning Storm would be devastating to me right now. It would probably kill everything on my board. Because it does a minimum of three damage when he has that spell damage creature out. And it could kill my, my shield bearer. That would be bad. But I think if he had it, he would have already played it. So maybe I'm agonizing over nothing. Flame Tongue Totem. Okay. Is that... Huh. He gets the taunt. Alright. So far, smart moves. <clears throat> That's annoying, actually. What does the future hold? And he's going to kill my taunt. I wish that he hadn't gotten that taunt totem. It's not very fair. I don't like it. Ooh, but I got my Stormforged Axe. Sweet. I'd like to save it for my Unbound Elemental, but I need it now. All right. I think that was the right play. Leaving that uh, that totem alive is not a good idea. We'll see what he does. Does he you silence it? My new does that kill it? Oh, that does kill it. That's a very good use of the crazed alchemist. Unfortunately, he still has to trade if he wants to kill my creatures. And I can Stormforged Axe that alchemist. So does he trade, or does he attack me directly? That is the conundrum. I'm hoping he doesn't trade. That way I can get a nicely buffed Frostwolf Warlord out. I think he'll be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Even better if I draw an another card. He totems. Gets a Searing Totem. And... Chillwind Yeti. And... You get an... Trade? No, he's just rushing me down. That might be the right call. I, I'm not sure. No? You're gonna run out of time, Galbatorix. The elements will destroy you. There is little time. Ah, <laughs> uh, what do I do? Alright, he's trading the Drakes out. Leaves me with a 4-3. I don't know about that. Unbound Elemental... Frostwolf Warlord should be a 6-6. Six, six. It's pretty good. Elements guide me. I think you should have killed what I had. Was it possible for him to do that? I think it was, because he could have traded that Wind Fury creature for my Drake, couldn't he? No, my Drake was at full health. Never mind. I'm talking out of my ass. That's not true. I'm talking as if I thought other things... Words escape me. I, wonder. I mean, he has some pretty good trades right now, but it's going to leave me with a 6-6 six, six unless he has a hex. Darn you and your lucky taunts! There was a 1 in 4 chance of that happening. I hate him. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Don't you leave my elemental alive. That's a bad idea. Okay, hex. Fine. Okay, leave my elemental alive, then. And a pint-sized summoner. That's not really going to help him, considering he has so much mana now. Elements guide me. I don't really need to kill that summoner. I'm going to go straight for him. Summon a totem. I don't get taunt. He gets taunt, but I don't get taunt. Freaking. I hate when randomization favors my opponent and doesn't favor me. Cult Master Gray. Um, okay, so he's got to kill my buffed elemental. I don't know what I would do in his position. I think I would kill the buffed elemental with his yeti, right? Because the yeti would live. What do you do, buddy? 
Because what if I get an Overload card like my Wind Fury Dust Devil? Or even better yet, Feral Spirit. He gets Spell Power. I don't know if that's useful right now. Drinking the last of my energy drink. Come on, Galbo Torix. You're one of my best opponents yet. You have a chance of beating me. Yeah. Okay. I have a hex. That's good. Um. Let's hex that. I don't want him to be able to draw more cards. Kill. Kill. Okay. What you gonna do? Also, which one of us has more cards? 13, 14. Okay. So if it comes down to it, I'm going to lose first just based purely on running out of cards. However, you don't lose immediately. You take one damage, and then two damage, and then three damage, and so on every turn that you don't draw cards. Are your cards in your hand worthless, dude? Can you not do anything? Give me a quest. That's better. Oh, that's... I understand why you were keeping that back. Feral Spirit. And Totem... Let's deal some damage to his spell power totem. I don't want to leave that alive. It could easily cause him to accidentally win the game. Just enough damage to clear my board. Just enough damage to kill me off with a lava burst. There's lots of stuff that could happen. Oh, Earth Elemental. That's not good. That is the opposite of good. And I don't have any more hex spells. Oh, but I have a Reckless Rocketeer. That should surely put a dent in him. Let's summon a totem. I think it's definitely worth it to do that. And then do that. And kill that. I'm in much better position than him now. He does have two cards, though. I don't have cards. What'd you get? Ah! Uh, yes, he has cards and I don't. No! Raging Worgen does not help me right now. That doesn't help me either. Well, I have three totems out. Unfortunately, once you get four, you can't summon any more totems. It doesn't say that about it, but there's only four types of totems, and you can't get duplicates, I don't think. It'd be interesting to experiment, though. Ugh. Did I already play all of my big cards? What's up with this? I don't think I have. I have some big cards. I have a Fire Elemental. I'm gonna lose next turn if I don't do something about this. Dust Devil's useless. Well, there's my Taunt. Dust Devil. Okay, well... I don't lose this turn. Even if he has a Bloodlust, I think I'll still live. If I get a Bloodlust, he'll die. Yeah, that would be nice. Boom, 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 boom. This is a very close game. I'm enjoying it. Although it is a lot of top decking. That's what it means when you just draw a card and you play it, because what else are you going to do? Like this Dust Devil. It's like I didn't even have a second thought about playing it. Oh, crap. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm going down to one health. Uh, I don't like it. Or I'm not. I'm not going to go down to one health. He is smart enough to kill off my junk. Well. Summon a totem. Okay. Kill that. Probably going to trade this for that, because that's a very smart move. I'm not getting my taunt totems like I'd like. He's in a better position than me, that's all I can say. Plus, he can keep summoning totems. 
And he gets a taunt one! No, it's not fair! It's not fair! Oh, Bloodlust. Well played. <laughs> Why? Con! All right, well, that arena went by quickly. Pack of cards. You always get a pack of cards from the arena, so it's not that much of a kick in the pants. It's not that much of a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. <clears throat> Only two wins. The first arena game I ever played was with a hunter deck, and I got eight wins. I'll prove it to you guys. All right, so there's my deck of cards. 30 dust and 10 gold. So really, not that bad. I lost a little bit of gold. But I got to entertain you guys, hopefully. I hope this was entertaining. Don't tell me if it's not. I don't want to know. I'm just going to... I want to live my life in peaceful ignorance. I got a... Eh, holy Wrath. Ooh! I'm glad I got a Defias Ringleader. I wanted one of those. This was considered one of the best, if not the best, cards in the game. It used to be a 2-3. Now it's just a 2-2, two -two, so it's slightly easier to kill. It's still a really good card, because what you do as a rogue, you wind up with it in your hand at the start, you go second, you use your coin to, to make that combo happen, and then suddenly you have a 2-2 two -two and a 2-1 on your first turn. Really good. And it just takes one of your cards. Otherwise, eh. Especially Holy Wrath, that one's not my favorite card in the world. I like Unleash the Hounds, but I think I already have it. Let's go ahead and disenchant. Yeah, I already had an Unleash the Hounds, so I get to disenchant that for five dust. I'm going to prove to you guys that I got eight wins in Arena. I got to Master Medal. That is eight wins, and Grandmaster is nine when you win the Arena. Okay, anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Click that like button if you did like it. Subscribe for more videos. I update every day if I can, and I will see you guys next time when hopefully I finally win all of my games in the arena. Wouldn't that be a delight to watch? Bye bye